the YouTube fireworks motivates us to grow. What is it? It's when you go to your YouTube dashboard, refresh your page and see this. Those fireworks are displayed only when you get number one of 10 in your latest 10 videos as reported by YouTube. You're competing against yourself. But what's really cool is it shows you relative to the time your video is uploaded compared to the other videos in the same time frame how you're doing. So I got this fireworks because Google deletes accounts for inactivity was uh, got 285 views in its first 18 hours and 52 minutes, which is uh, much more than the previous one, which only had 267 views in its first 18 hours and 52 minutes. And the other cool thing to look at is these views, impressions, click-through rate, and average view duration, all of which are number one or in the top part of my videos. You can go to analytics to see all the others. Here in the bottom right corner, you see that this is my latest one. I go to the previous one. So that one only had a normal one uh, minute and 27 second uh, watch view duration compared to my latest video which had almost two minutes which was on the upper end of the spectrum so you can use these tools guys to see which videos are doing better for your audience and you should make more of the ones that are doing better here's one that only had a low 2.3 percent impressions click-through rate which means the thumbnail wasn't as attractive and compared to the first two which had a four percent and a 5.3 percent impressions click-through rate so all of these tips will help you grow faster if you just pay attention to your analytics. Here's one more new tip. Do you see this research tab? This research tab is new. If you click it in your YouTube analytics and go to your viewers searches, look, you, now this will be different for your channel, but for my channel or our channel, Freedom Central, are, we are found by people searching for unboxing, unboxing videos how to upload movies on YouTube without copyright. That's a surprising one. I don't think I have any videos uh, on our channel about this topic, but somehow we're, we're, we're ranking high in that search in photo, photo, photopia, photopia, I believe. Uh, we have quite a few Photopia videos and tutorials. We also have lots of unboxing videos. And so that's why we're ranking high. What do you rank high, Freedom Family? Tell me down there in the comments below. I'd love to know. Let's share with each other and help each other grow together as a family. Because that is the spirit of freedom. We are the Freedom Family. So let's learn about this research tab. There's also a very cool thing called content gaps. So if I click learn more, and so can you, you'll come to this article and where they talk about the tab, and here is the, con the concept of a content gap, which is YouTube telling you when viewers can't find enough quality search results on YouTube for a specific search. You can use content gaps as inspiration to create content that doesn't exist or could be improved. That's key because YouTube is basically telling you we don't have enough information about this topic. Do you want to help fill the content gap? If so, we will s drive organic search to your videos to fill, if you fill that content gap. So I encourage you to check that out. Now, I don't have any content gaps in my uh, report here. And uh, I'm assuming that's because these search terms are well served. There are many videos about them. But if we do something else, like, I don't know, purple donkeys, which don't exist. So maybe that'll be a content gap. Okay, I'm not seeing any content gap uh, report. So I'm not actually sure how that is presented as content gaps, but if you have uh, a content gap visible in yours, send us a screenshot down there in the comments below. We'd love to see it. So yes, we have the research tab. We have these uh, historical comparisons to all of your videos, your at least your latest 10 videos which is an important way to measure which thumbnails and content are uh, good for your audience. Like this one is all normal. There's no like upper area of performance for this video. 
and I have a few of them like that, uh, where, oh, this one's even below average. So the YouTube culture and trends nobody was interested in. Or maybe it was my uh, picture of Daenerys in the thumbnail that drove people away. Ah, oh, come on, it's a cute baby. I don't think that was it. So you can study these results and help you make informed decisions about your own channel to grow faster. All right, one other thing I wanted to mention to you, the video I made yesterday about Google deletes your account, I featured a short clip of the Dune 2 trailer, part two trailer. And I got a copyright, not a strike, but a copyright match, which means it doesn't have any negative impact on my channel, but it does prevent me from monetizing my video. And I'll show you the content clip. It's only like 40 seconds here. Uh, and here it is. And I better not show it because this video will probably get a content a copyright match if I do. The whole point is um, the owners of this clip had decided to set the content ID match policy to be very tight. So any instance of that trailer will flag it and all revenue gets redirected to that rights holder, which I think is pretty unfair, but I have not clicked dispute because to be honest, I'm not building this channel for making money. I'm building this channel to teach you guys how to make money. And so the money we do make is kind of just reinvested back into our business to help you grow. But if you're building a channel to make money, you should be disputing fair use claims like this so that hopefully you can get them reinstated, uh, the monetization reinstated. But as I said, it has no negative impact to the channel. Unless it was a copyright strike, then the video would have been taken down, and that means I only get three strikes in a 90-day period. So do you. <laughs> Everybody gets only three strikes before their channel gets terminated. So you definitely want to dispute any takedowns which create copyright strikes. All right, what other tips can I give you? So on the earn page, we have something where I'm saying, uh, where YouTube is telling me I have an action required where I need to confirm your personal information. Otherwise, I will not get paid by YouTube. Check your earn tab periodically. Make sure there are no notices like this because you don't see them anywhere else. Like on the dashboard homepage, uh, there is no notice about my AdSense. Ooh, I love those fireworks. Yes, <laughs> I can watch those all day. Uh, we do have an active community guideline strike warning, but this has been there for years. This is when the we created a video showing you how to download your videos to your uh, hard drive for a backup, and that got a community guideline strike because <laughs> downloading YouTube videos, we showed many ways, the legitimate ways, and the ones where you use a third-party tool. Because we were advertising how to download videos using a third-party tool, which is not according to YouTube Terms of Service, we got a community guideline strike. I was really surprised about that. I challenged it, but YouTube upheld it. However, when you get your very first community guideline strike, it's not a strike. It's really just a warning, which is right here. <laughs> the problem is that warning never goes away. Strikes go away after 90 days. This warning is here forever to remind me forever that I better not be a bad boy and talk about how to download YouTube videos without using the official, or in ways other than the official YouTube tools for downloading videos. And so incidentally, if you want to download your videos, you go to your content tab, you click this three dot hamburger menu and you click download. That's how you officially download YouTube videos or you use Google Takeout. Google Takeout is a tool that you can, lets you download anything from your channel. Uh, not just your YouTube channel, but your Gmail, your photos, any content you've uploaded to any Google service, you can take it out, download it for your own backup uh, using Google Takeout. But that's not the point of this video, so we won't go into that topic. Just wanted to point out the legitimate ways to download YouTube videos uh, from, uh, from YouTube. All right, guys. And yeah, I think those are some good tips. Uh, one last tip I wanted to share with you is if you do get a copyright match, which again doesn't harm your channel, YouTube does have the option to trim. So here, oh, this is my uh, microphone. I'll put it near my, vo near my face. Uh, this trim out segment will really delete it from your video and remove the copyright claim. So if it's music, you can even mute the song so the video doesn't get trimmed 
only the music gets removed from your audio and your uh, spoken words remain, even if you're speaking on top of the music. It's pretty cool tech, where it can just remove the musical piece from the audio stream. Anyway, my point is I couldn't, I can click trim segment and, you, and uh, YouTube would automatically delete this uh, 40 second section from my video and then the monetization would be restored. I don't have to click dispute, but of course someone watching my video would then miss that section and it would look strange to someone watching the video. It'd look like something's been deleted because it was, but it's a cool tool that helps you remove copyright claims that you cannot remove any other way. Uh, so you don't have to like delete the video, re-upload it, lose all your views and comments. Whoa, that is an alarm telling me I have a meeting in four minutes. I better wrap this up. So yeah, use the trim feature uh, to help you maintain monetization for your videos that have copyright matches. All right, Freedom Family. I hope uh, the YouTube fireworks also motivates you as it does me. What else motivates you to grow? Tell me down there in the comments below so we can all help each other grow together as a family. Let's get into a little bit of a bigger George here, shall we? So, as my final words, I went to the gym today. Did you? I feel so good. I did my bench press, my squats. I did my uh, warm up, which was a six minute high speed walk at a 12.5% incline at 6.6 .6 kilometers per second speed on the treadmill. It's a mouthful, but it was very good and painful. Don't like those warm ups, but they get my blood going. I did abs, where I did a lot of crunches on the bench, keeping my legs straight, kind of like this going up uh, to be like a, a matchbook, uh, an L shape. Those are tough, especially when you go down slowly. And yeah, uh, what else did I do? I did, uh, I mentioned the squats, I did dips. I like the dips, they help build the triceps. Triceps, like uh, your uh, biceps are common where you would just go like this, but your triceps most people don't do. So I, I do the dips where I go like this behind me to uh, lift my body up and uh, that's very effective and yeah what else did i do i did the overhead press like this with the dumbbells one in each hand and uh i think that's it yeah yeah so you try i try to do a full body workout where you i touch every every muscle major muscle uh especially my core oh i did the lower back i did the uh, deadlifts so you you kind of go up like that oh it's uh my camera is not focused now Come on, focus. Please focus. Ooh, I'm blurred. Okay. Well, this is a blurry way to end the video, but uh, since we're at the end, it's okay. Cameras. Come on, camera. It doesn't want to refocus. Nope, not refocusing. Okay. I am George, CEO, blurry CEO, and founder of Freedom for Freedom. And there's a lot of noise going on in the background sorry about that the neighbors downstairs are drilling holes in their ceiling and floors and whatever else they're doing i don't even know i am the ceo and founder of freedom and you are the freedom family we all help each other grow together as a family i'm george and you've been watching oh you're dreaming about love yeah. Click that I to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. 
that will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.